now Indeed, important figures from each one of our neighboring countries. The Kingdom of Liberal, the Principality of Remiferia, and even the Republic of Calvard. And if all goes to plan, we'll have a few special guests from the Bracer Guild and the SSS join us too.
So, you showed up after all. As do you, Schwarzer. Despite everything General Le Guin and Miss Clotilda tell me you've been through, Your Highness, Lady Angelica, it's a pleasure to have you back safely with us. Agreed. Things have taken a real turn since Ortis's last Provincial Council. What happens here today could very well change the course of history. Follow me, everyone. Wow, it looks like the party's already started. Kinda feels like this meeting was a long time coming, huh? <sighs> well, I'll be. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. Long time no see, Tita. Have you grown a few, Reach? Or am I imagining things? Estelle... Joshua... And... And... <laughs> Hello again, Tita. Remember our promise? Ren! Oh, you guys... You have no idea how happy I am to see you! Don't you get me started, too. So melodramatic. And here I thought you two'd have grown out of this by now. You're one to talk. 
I can see you getting a little choked up yourself. Seems like you've been holding up pretty well, Agate. <laughs> As if there was any doubt. We're making progress, don't get me wrong. But there's still a lot left to take care of. All the more reason to stay on top of our game from here on. Oh, Sarah! You're here too! Nice to see you again. It's been too long. Man, it sure has. What's it been, like three years since you were last here in the Empire? Oh yeah. Let me introduce you to Fee. So, Fee? Like, the Fee? That petite powerhouse they keep talking about in all the guild branches? It's a pleasure to meet you, Sylphie. As you can see, we've heard all about the work you've been doing. You can just call me Fee. I've heard a thing or two about you guys, too. You know, from Agate and Sherazard. Oh, yeah? Trust them to embarrass us like that. Speaking of Shira, we still don't know where she is, do we? Not a clue. We know she's still alive, at least. Way I figure, if she was in trouble, she'd contact us with that thing she's got. Right. It's only been about two weeks since we last heard from her. She left Heimdall altogether just after that, didn't she? Yeah. I've got all the other Erebone Embracers looking out for her, too. Tia! <laughs> nice tackle, Kia. Lloyd, Ellie, I'm glad you guys managed to come. Of course. We wouldn't miss this. Oh, I can't help myself. Come here, you two. Uh, Ellie, I can't breathe. Oh, Tio, I'm so relieved to see you're okay. Yona's been worried about you too, you know. Oh, you don't say. That's cool. But also, I could really use some air. <laughs> Hooey! The dynamic duo's getting bigger and bigger by the day. Good to see you, Randy. Right back at you, Lloyd. Now, hold on a moment. You didn't think I'd just let that little comment of yours slide, did you? Who's the dynamic duo? Me and Tio? I don't think we got any taller. N no, uh, not a, a trap. D forget I said anything, all right? <sighs> Shame on you, Randy. There are children here. <laughs> and we didn't forget about you, Yuna. Kia's been telling us about all you've been up to. We heard you help set Tio free. I'm so proud of you. Uh, oh, um, well, that was more Class 7 as a whole. It was just part of our mission. As someone who's always looked up to the SSS, it's so great seeing all of you back together again. What do you mean? You're one of us too, Yuna. Mm-hmm. You're a lot closer to the SSS than you give yourself credit for. That's right. You carry on the spirit of Crossbell in a way all your own. I think we're all aware of how much you look up to the SSS. But you know what? It goes both ways. We're just as proud of you too, Yuna. Every one of us. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Well, at the very least, you've gotten a bit more tame since the first day you bucked into the branch campus. Uh, come on, Randy! Let me have my moment! Oh, right! Elisa! Over here! Ellie, you look amazing! It's been too long. I'm so glad you guys finally got the chance to reunite. Oh, that's right. Elisa and Ellie met up about three months ago, huh? Yep. Elisa's the granddaughter of the Reinford Company's founder. Not to mention a Thor's alumnus. Thank you, Elisa. Though, I don't think I look even half as good as you. Allow me to congratulate you on your reunion as well. <laughs> Aw, thanks. I suppose I'd better introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Reen Schwarzer, graduate of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Ellie, Estelle, Joshua, it's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is ours. Elisa's told me quite a bit about you already. Perhaps a bit too much, actually. Ellie! We definitely know you by now, after all the stories we've heard. From Tita's letters and Ren. Even Olivier, and Toval. I see. It's no surprise you knew his highness, but... 
I wasn't aware you knew Toval, too. Yep. We met back on our first trip in Erebonia. He helped us out a bunch. It's good to meet you, Reen. This has definitely been a long time coming. Don't worry. You can loosen up around us. We're the same age, more or less, right? <laughs> Got it. I think I'll take you up on that. Looking forward to working with you guys. Yeah, for sure. As are we. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's been a while, Lloyd. How have you been? Busy, to say the least. It's been crazy this past year and a half. I really owe you for your help during Operation Birdcage. I'm sure I'll get the chance to return the favor, though. I get the feeling we're gonna be seeing a lot more of each other. From here on, Reen, we fight on the same side. As equals. <sighs> uh... I Instructor Reen? Honestly, I'm not sure I even deserve to shake your hand. I'm sure you've heard about what I've done. The mistake I made. <sighs> Reen... Hmm. It's my fault that the curse spread throughout not only the Empire, but Crossbell too. It's the same with North Ambria and Jirai as well. Even this awful war with Calvert. I have no idea how I can even begin to apologize. No, Reen. That's wrong. It's my duty as a detective to look beyond what's on the surface. You want to know what I see? I see that this was all a setup from the very start. Nothing you could have done would have possibly changed the outcome. I see a man who, despite it all, never fell to despair. A man who continues to push back, even at this very moment. Not just for Crossbell, or even Erebonia, but for the world itself and all who reside in it. Within you lies the strength of countless allies, helping you move forward through whatever may come. I'd like the SSS to be a part of that, Reen. To be one of those allies there by your side. Empire or Crossbell, where we're from doesn't matter anymore. Now we're fighting for the world itself. Together. Lloyd. <laughs> this guy, I swear. <laughs> now I understand why you look up to him the way you do. <laughs> yep. Told you he was great. Wow, how am I supposed to follow up a speech like that? I'll gladly take your words to heart. It's good to have you with us, Lloyd. I'll be honest with you, our situation is looking grim. And it's only going to get worse from here. But that's never stopped us before. With you on board, we'll overcome every barrier in our way. <sighs> hm. You got it. <laughs> that goes for us, too. We Liberlians got your back. <laughs> I see you've saved me the trouble of rounding you up. Principal Le Guin. Right on time. Is everything ready? Is she? General Aurelia Le Guin, commander of the Viceland Army. Wow. I can tell this lady's a serious badass. That's an understatement. She's one of the greatest swordmasters of our generation. Bracers of Liberu, special support section. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Aurelia Le Guin. Well met, all of you. I'd love to chat with each of you individually, of course, but time is of the essence. I suspect our other guests are anxious to get things underway. Well, if it isn't the special support section, I do believe it's been around two years since our paths last crossed, though it would seem Arios is not with you this time around. A pleasure to see you again, your lordship. Our apologies. 
Arios had some pressing matters to attend to, though he did make sure to send his regards. Is that so? I suppose I expected as much. A man in his position seldom has any time to spare. Princess Elfin, I bring you my greetings and condolences both. We received news of Emperor Eugen's condition, as well as the tragedy that befell Prince Oliver. I can only imagine the pain this must put you through. You have my deepest sympathies. And you have my sincerest appreciation, your lordship. I must admit, I didn't expect to be able to meet with you so soon. Nor did I. A silver lining in the dark cloud that brought us here. Lady Mildeen, allow me to thank you once again for the invitation. The gratitude is ours, your lordship. It's an honor to receive you. Ha-ha! <laughs> this is quite an extraordinary crowd we have here. Correct me if I'm wrong, SSS, but it was two years ago that we last met as well, was it not? Yes, back at the trade conference. It's good to see you again, sir. Princess Alfin, Lady Mildine, I don't believe I've ever formally had the pleasure. Though I suppose in a way we aren't entirely unfamiliar with each other. I had the privilege of meeting your brother, you see, back during the conference. Oh, yes, he mentioned you before. Pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Knowing you're here helps put into perspective the true scale of Operation Meal Mirage. It's an honor to have you. We do appreciate you taking the time to come. After all, I'm sure you of all people have been particularly busy of late. President Rocksmith. What? No way! <laughs> so that's how this is gonna go. I don't even know how to react. <laughs> how silly of us. I didn't realize we had neglected to make our introductions. In that case, allow me to go first. I am Albert von Bartolomeus, Grand Prince of the Principality of Remetheria. It's a pleasure to meet you, students and alumni of Thor's Military Academy. And I'm Samuel Rocksmith, President of the Republic of Calvin. I'm sure I'm the last person you would expect to see here. Prince Albert is one thing, but President Rocksmith? Indeed. And in person, no less. What's the President of Calvert doing here? We're on the verge of war. That is exactly why I chose to attend, Machius Regnitz. Ah, and you must be the acting Duke Alberea. And, hmm, you're Fee Clausel, correct? Let me guess. She told you. As I suspected. You work for Calvert's Central Intelligence Department. That's right. I'm a second lieutenant in the CID, as well as a member of the Special Force Hercules. Thanks for your help before, by the way. I'm Lucy Saland, Private Secretary to the Grand Prince. For those of you we met before, it's a pleasure to see you again. Now I understand. You were investigating Erebonia's internal affairs to prepare for today's meeting. Wait, back up a sec. If the heads of Remiferia and Calvert are here, then... There's only one more big nation we're missing. <gasps> it would seem they've arrived. They made it. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. Lebrel has just as much a stake in this as anyone else, after all. Oh! <gasps> it's the Princess of Lebrel. And beside her. Man, today's just full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry for the delay. I have to say, this is the most luxurious ship I've ever seen. Thank you once again for inviting us.
My name is Claudia von Auslis. I will be participating on behalf of Queen Alicia II of Liberal. Delighted to make your acquaintance, everyone. Cassius Bright, Lieutenant General of the Royal Army of Liberal. Unfortunately, we don't really have time for pleasantries. How about we get straight down to business?
Sure, you may also be a genius who can come up with plans to change the fate of the world, but that's beside the point. There's no way an ordinary girl like you would be okay with a plan that would cost millions of people their lives, is there?